Hey, just want to do this short video on something that's been on my mind quite a bit, a little bit. So, as you all know, this last weekend, or last week, I guess, yeah, whatever. You know, I went to Florida and spent a great time there, the Millionaire Mastermind, etc., etc. One of the things I wanted to talk about was what I had to go through to get there. And... Yeah, so I, you know, I work for the church, custodial department, blah, blah, blah. And one of the things I learned, well, did was I requested the time off to go to Florida because, you know, I already had it planned out, was going to go, et cetera, et cetera. And I turned in like this a little bit. Yeah. So I turned in my time off request, da, 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 you know, believing that I had everything set and got a text message from my boss because she has to submit it to the supervisor and the supervisor has to approve it for the schedule. So that's what I did, what I was supposed to do, turned it in, you know, turned it in, went to work, act like everything was normal, got the text message that the time off request that I put in was denied. And my, I got the text message, and my first text back, like, poof, fired right back, was why? Why are they denying my time off request? I wanted to know. And so my boss didn't know, and so she goes, I'm going to go meet with the supervisor and ask why. And so after that, the that day, I was working, you know, very, very unhappy. And, the you know, the difference... And, you know, I was running it through my head because I was very irritated that the fact that they had the audacity to say, no, Scott, you can't go on vacation or you can't leave to go to this millionaire mastermind that you spent six months committed to and going to and you already paid for it. And your job is going to deny you. And so as I was, you know, that's really what I was going through my mind and I was very not happy because, you know, for me. Okay, I'm going to go a little bit time loop. I've worked at this job for about six years, and that within that six years' time, I have never taken more than five days off within those that time frame. Like maybe a day here and there, but not you know a whole week. And I was not happy with their... I felt very disrespected when they told me that I could not go. And so... And this goes in a little bit of the self-development thing. So back in... You know, you go to old me, you know, me that was two, three, four years ago. And if they would have told me then you can't go on vacation, I would have, you know, just sucked it up and dealt with it. But I've been doing a lot of self-development and things like that. And I, I, as I was, you know, angry going through all these things in my head, the me that is going to be took over. Now, what I mean by the me that's going to be, the me that's going to rule the world. The me, the me that's going to change people's lives and things like that took over and said, you are going to this event. And so it was kind of like a, I don't know what you call it, like, you know, the zone that came in. And so it kind of felt like that where, you know, you go, your head comes up and you're a new person or the person you're going to be. And that person told me. And I said it out loud, I am going to this event and there's nothing my job can do to stop me. And so I told, because, yeah, that's pretty much it. Like I told my boss at the time, well, because we were texting back and forth because I was, you know, propping ideas of getting ways to go and they weren't working with me because I was like, asking, you know, I could work extra hours or I could pick up an extra shift, et cetera, et cetera. And they weren't working with me. I, you can't do that. You can't work extra hours or you can't work extra weekend or holiday or whatever. And so the new, the me that's going to be took over and said, well, I'm going to this event. I'm going and there's nothing Amy is going to say that's going to change my mind. And I guess it was the fact that I stood up for myself and said, I'm not going to deal with their crap of denying me the opportunity to go to Fort Lauderdale, Florida, to be on a television show, to write a book, magazine articles, things like that, because it's 
what who I'm going to be. I am going to be doing those things on a regular basis in the future. And so everything that I did out there was a first. And I'm going to continue to make those things happen on a regular basis. And so I stood my ground. Instead of letting them walk all over me, I said I'm going to go there. And if they're going to not deny me, I was going to go get the receipt that I paid for and send it to my job and say, since you're denying me the opportunity to go become my best self, you're paying the bill. And so, yeah, you know, I stood up for myself. My job buckled and let me go. And so what I'm kind of going at is sometimes you have to stand up for yourself because guess what? Your future self, the self that you're working on, that that per, that being that you're striving to be is rooting for you every step of the way. And sometimes, yeah, you're going to have to do some stuff that you're not used to. You're going to have to stand up for yourself. You're going to have to tell your boss how it is that you're not going to deal play with their little games. And you can do it no matter how far along you are in the process. And I can't tell you where I am at in my process, but I'm going to become that person. Whether it takes me a year, whether it takes me five years or 10 or 20 or even more to become that person, I'm going to become that person. And I'm not going to be letting a nine to five job hold me back from becoming that person. And so if you're going through some hardships and you're, you know, you're hating your job or something like that, stand up for yourself. It's going to do a world's, it's going to do a lot more for you than you think. And yeah, sometimes you might get fired from that job, but who cares? You know, you could go get another one. Because guess what? Your boss may say you're replaceable, but so are they. Go Indeed, go LinkedIn, go Facebook. You have friends, you know, say, hey, I'm looking for a job in this. You know, if that happens. But sometimes, yeah, if your job really values you as an employee, dude, you got to stand up for yourself. Your job, they're going to work you to death. I'm an advocate for that. I did that I did that within this last six years of putting the team on my back, working four or five people's jobs in a single day, working every Saturday from the in the year of 2019. I worked every single Saturday. I was doing six days a week. And you know, after doing all that stuff, working for other people, doing Saturdays, going above and beyond, and it didn't get me anywhere. So just so you know, your happiness and everything about you, your sanity, your health, your mental health, your physical health, ex your spiritual health is more important than what your boss has to offer. And I know it's, yeah, I, I get it. You know, we all have to have work. We all have to have, we have bills. We need things done, et cetera, et cetera. But if you're going through the motions and you've worked at your job for however long and you're hating it and you're hating your life, Hey, it's completely normal. I'm in that boat right now. I've been working, like I said, six years at this job. And when the opportunity came along to, you know, progress, grow, go up the corporate ladder, I was always denied. And I went and wanted to know why. Because I'm doing, you know, if you've been following me on social media for a while now, I've been working on myself and like going into the financial education, financial field helping people with their finances, either physically or educationally, or even helping them invest and things like that. And I've had huge growth, tremendous joy coming from it. And my goal is to be able to work hard enough there to where I can go it quit. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to say quit, but fire my boss, fire my job. Walk away from it and not have to worry about how to make ends meet. Because guess what? I'm in the I'm on the same road ever you all are. I am working nine to five. And I'm also running this business on the side. Multiple businesses. Because guess what? I do finance. I do lawn care. I'm going into real estate. I'm doing, you know, Bitcoin, even though it's not doing great. But I'm doing all these things because I have a purpose to help as many people as possible. Whether that's with their money, finding places to live, health care, taking care of their house, etc., etc. Because 
I have more to offer this world than working in a nine to five job with a with a job that with you know a place that doesn't really care about me. But I have a purpose, you know. A purpose when that too. Go find yourself a purpose. If you're working a nine to five job, you know, you're going through the motions week after week after week, and you feel lost, I want you to go look at yourself in the mirror. Go find your purpose, your reason. Do you have any goals? Write them down, big or small. And try to set a time frame when you are going to reach those goals. Because guess what? When you have goals, when you have a purpose, when you have a reason to do anything, it's going to change your world. It's going to change your attitude. It's going to change your your vibe. You're going to see people at work and you're going to see people at church or wherever you go during your week. And they're going to notice how different you are, how how you carry yourself, how you walk. Your presence is going to be different. And I, I know it for me. Yeah, it is different. This week has been amazing. From Sunday, well, I'm going to say Saturday last week to today. It's been a little over a week, but getting home from my... Getting back from my second home out in Florida, getting back here, talking to people at either online or even in person about what goals I have. And I have a it's normal conversation. I'm going into the financial financial industry, teaching people how money works. That's what I'm doing. I have a book on the way that talks a lot about it. I'm going to be on a magazine that's going to talk about it. Television that's going to talk about it. And because, you know, that is my goal is to be able to help as many people as I, as possible. And thankfully, we live in the era of social media where if you're thinking of running a business and it's an online business, go do it. Because we are in the pinnacle of that industry right now. You could go on Facebook, type in whatever city you live in. Or even if you want to work in a different city or a different state. You can go on social media and go connecting with people that live in those areas and say, hey, I want to do whatever you want to do, your business. You could either, you know, the limits are endless. You could do anything. Lawn care, you can do a service or even a product or even name it. You got it because guess what? Your potential and you're reaching your potential, it's going to be more exciting and more fun than you'll ever think. Because guess what? I'm working on it right now. I'm working on how to communicate better. I'm working on how to work with you. Say, possibly, I'm talking to you. Of how to talk to people. How to work with people. Find their need. Because, you know, we all live in the world today. And we all have needs. Say, you want to go start a business or you want to become financially independent or you want to have some kind of saving or have a plan for the future that's my goal with all of you is to help you reach those goals and so we'll sit down either in person or even on zoom to establish what do you need because guess what you live in your life every single day i can't live in your life for you but we will work together, find those things that you want. And sometimes, yeah, we have to do a lot of heavy thinking, digging deep to find exactly what we want. And when we find those things, we start setting goals to reach those things. And, you know, it, it might it's going to take some time. But, hey, new things take time. Great things take time. And then... You work with me, we go through everything, we show exactly where you are and where you want to go and the things you need to do to get there. And you're going to, and then by the time you get there, you're going to be so thankful you did. It's going to change your world, it's going to change your family's world, it's going to change your whole situation. And you're going to look back and be like, thank goodness I decided to take action today. And yeah, you know, I'm excited. You better be excited because this is going to ch- be great. Of, yeah, you already know. We already talked about it. 
You know what you need. I know what I need. We are all in this together. We're all in the same boat. And if we work together, we can just change the world. So, hope you all are having a great Sunday. I am. Can't wait to see how everyone's doing. Hope you have a great week. It's Sunday. Plan for your week. Hope you have success in whatever you're doing, whether it's at your job or even at home or with your family or business. Keep pounding. Don't give up. You can do it. You're awesome. See you guys later.